here from RP Productions. Today, you got a very sleepy Riley, but we're heading down to Cars and Coffee down at Memorial City Mall in Houston, Texas. It's a monthly car show that happens every month. Usually over a thousand people show up there. It's a great turnout of cars. Uh, I've done many videos on the event here on the channel, but today we're gonna take it kind of vlog style. So I'm gonna bring you guys along as if you guys were riding shotgun in the Camaro. Most of these cars and coffees, I've got Miss RP sitting over there, but this morning she decided that she was gonna get her beauty sleep and, well, sleep in. So, I'm going solo on this, well, me and a GoPro, and uh, hopefully we'll get some cool stuff on film. So every month before Cars and Coffee, I have a little pre-meet at my local Chick-fil-A, and as you can tell, we got a nice little turnout today. Sometimes there's like 20 people that show up to these, and then sometimes it's uh, just a smaller turnout like this, but it's a good group of guys. We're all gonna cruise down to Cars and Coffee together and uh, go check out some badass cars. struggle when you're on drag radials it tells you to add tire pressure every single time manual's not too bad until you come to situations like this where you're gonna be in stop and go traffic for the next 20 minutes then it really sucks ladies and gentlemen welcome to Houston cars and coffee following this beautiful NSX in it's gonna be a good day <laughs> God, I hate you. he said oh my god I want one of these so bad god I hate you So now I've switched to my good camera. I'm sure you can tell by the quality change, but got a bunch of Camaros over here. You have two brand new Camaro ZL1s, which, man, if you haven't seen these things in person, they look absolutely menacing. And then you go behind them, and then you got me in the, the RP Productions mobile, and then Kyle over here in his GT500. Hi, friends. Super B. <laughs> GT350 and a scat pack conveniently parked right across from me. I know I may have a Camaro and all, but I have a soft spot for these cars. After driving one, they are truly fantastic driving cars, and I'd probably be driving one if they weren't $15,000 more than my car. So now we've made it over to the exotic section, so here's all the good stuff. It's a Lamborghini versus a Ferrari. Who will win? All right, drop it in the comments. Which one would you rather have? Huracan 458. Nice looking GT350, a Hennessy Ford Velociraptor. Moving down, Gallardo, 
Tennessee Hellcat and then the Hennessy Exorcist that you guys all freaked out about in my uh, Houston Auto Show video. So let's see, what did they do? So they put a Pro Charger. Okay. So there's the man responsible for that fine piece of machinery. And I guess all the other ones in the company Hennessy. All right guys, so drop a comment below if I could be wrong on this, which I probably am, but it looks to me like, did they take the supercharger off and then put a pro charger on it? Or uh, what's going on here? I'm sure all you YouTube engineers will tell me what's, what's the deal, but here's what you can look at. Write your comment below. I will check them out. Sometimes. Appreciate it. So did y'all take the supercharger off and then put a pro charger on it? Or? Yeah, so it looks like it. Really? So is it just basically a built LT1 with a pro charger? I don't know. Whatever I tell you, you're just going to turn it into trash on the internet. I didn't turn it into trash. He's talking shit. I think you got a video of it on the Houston Auto Show, right? Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't talking any shit. People uh, in the video might have been talking shit, but I wasn't talking. Oh no, 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 it's fine, man. Whatever. It's cool. I mean, you can take videos of the car, the public car, but not my car. Well, I know. I'm just asking, like. Yeah, it's got a bunch of stuff done to it. The only, I think, I think, <laughs> the, only I think the title of your video is overpriced trash or something like that. It's not overpriced trash. No, it's no, 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 I think it is. I, can I, pull th it I think it's, it's too expensive for what it is. Right. But that's me. But you can't afford it. True. Right. I got it. Why would I want to though? Hey, man. Why would I want to when I could buy, a, let's say, a Dodge Demon for cheaper? There you go. I'm gonna buy one. Good. Okay. You'll enjoy it. I can't afford it either, man. Don't sweat it. I'm just giving you a hard time. It's all good. We're all loved here. A lot of people hate us. It's okay. I like the car. I don't like the price, but yeah. I can't afford it, so. No, yeah, it's cool. I like it too. I wish I could afford it. Yeah. But if you YouTube it, it's funny because the first thing that comes up is your video. Really? Yeah, so it's all my work and slammed. So is this really the demon? I didn't killer? slam it. One of my buddies. Well, yeah, no, it's it. a picture of you. <laughs> In front of the car. Yeah. So yeah. So it is. It is. It's fine. Man. I get I didn't it. Slam it. I mean, it's a picture of you. Yeah. But I didn't slam it though. I oh. think I think it is too expensive. But that's my opinion. Oh. You right. can have your opinion, and I'll have mine. Exactly. It's just yeah. yours is the first YouTube pay. That's good. That's a good thing. Yeah. There you go. Get, get paid. Hey, I gotta man, afford one of these somehow, man. <laughs> there you go. At some point, I'll build you one. Hopefully, you won't slam it. <laughs> You know, I've always been a fan of Hennessy. I've never really been a fan of their prices, but I do respect, you know, what comes out of their facility and some of the badass cars that they've created. Even in this video, before the Hennessy employee approached me, I was sitting there talking about, oh, look at this fine piece of machinery, and that's the man responsible for Hennessy, yada, 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 and I was gonna move on my way. But apparently, somebody at Hennessy doesn't respect my opinion that their car is overpriced. He tries to make it out like I'm calling his car a piece of shit, which is not true at all, I drive a 6th gen Camaro and I own one. I would not be calling the car I own a piece of shit. I just think it's a little ridiculous that you spend $65,000 on a ZL1 and then you spend another $65,000 modifying it to their power claims. To the guy at Hennessy, this would have been a great opportunity for you to walk up to me and be like, hey, I see that you have a voice on our car. Although I'm not you know, a fan of what you said about the car, let me tell you why it is worth the extra $65,000 price tag. Let me tell you why it's worth it. Let me tell you all the cool stuff about this car, how it's all original, how you get the Hennessy plot. You could have sat there and gone in depth about what you've done to the car and I would have been like, all right, cool. Because the fact of the matter is, yes, it is a cool car. I just wouldn't pay that much money for it. But regardless of the price of the car, you could have took me up on that offer of just me being there and been like, hey, you know, let me tell you about this car and maybe get a, a better opinion out there on YouTube. But instead, you decide to come up to me and start trash talking me in front of about 30 other people at Cars and Coffee, which, uh, that was fun. So thank you, Hennessy employee, for the random, pointless shit talking. And uh, now back to our regularly scheduled Cars and Coffee with more cars that I can't afford.
Hey brother, I uh, think you may need some new blinker fluid. That one's looking a little low. I think this one over here looks pretty good, but you know, I want to check out that passenger side. Just an FYI, gotta look out, gotta look out for my Camaro bros. So if I lowered my truck, that's what it would look like. What do you guys think? Lower it or no? Well, ain't this a treat. Look who it is. RP Productions old scat pack. Man, that's weird. I have not seen this car in probably four or five months. And well, here it is. So after that clip with the scat pack, I didn't film any more because I basically sat there and talked to the owner of my old car for a long time. Jarvis is a really cool dude. Follow him on Instagram. I'll put his name right there so you can go see what the scat pack's up to on Instagram nowadays. But like I said, I didn't film any more that day. I uh, basically just spent the morning with some friends enjoying cars and coffee and uh, just hanging out. But uh, yeah, pretty interesting video, pretty entertaining to say the least. And uh, that's all I got for you on this video. Thank you guys for watching the video. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. I will see you on the next one. Take it easy.